lose much of sorghum. So we can see here the disease uh, spike and as well as healthy spike. This disease is considered as a loose mutt of sorghum. So this uh, loose mutt of sorghum is distributed in Africa, Asia, Europe, and North, uh, Central, and South America. It is less common than the grain moss. And uh, in India, it occurs in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. When it comes to the symptoms of this loose mutt of sorghum, the affected plants are shorter than the healthy plants with stalk and uh, mark of wheat. The ears comes out much earlier and are more loose than the healthy ones. The glooms are hypertrophic. So one of the important characteristics for identification of this loose mutt of sorghum that is the hypertrophic. This hypertrophic is a concentrated like 2.5 mm in length. All spikeless or infected on sorry may be born on glooms and parasites. This basicles, the essence are of spikeless. The sores <laughs> includes the transform pistil and the stamens. <laughs> Sores varies with the varieties of the host and comes to the casual organism. Pathogen responsible for the smut is Specialotheca cruenta. The spore mass is dark brown surrounding well developed and branched columella of post tissue wall that particularly 1.4 m thick. This first this has two sex growths and can hybridize with Spacilothica sorghi, Spacilothica reliana. reliana. So here the disease cycle, when considered this Spacilothica cruenta is mainly externally seaborne pathogen, where this is first remain viable for four years in the laboratory, but remain germinate readily in water soil transmission is unimportant. This can spread within the crop by floral infection of airborne spores particularly has been absorbed. When it comes to the disease management, the disease can control by sanitation and crop where the spores are while in the soil. Thank you.